Luxury Experience How to Live Opulently Without Spending a Fortune Who said luxury is just for the rich and famous? Check out these tips to live a life of opulence without breaking the bank. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. Today's show is fantastic. I love the topic. I love uh, the, the research we've done about it, and I'm sure you will love it, too. I hope you are doing fantastic. If you're doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or <laughs> luxury vodka, <laughs> and let's roll. Today, I want to talk to you about the luxury experience and how to live like the rich without spending a fortune. Number one. Become a product tester. If you want to wear the trendiest high-end heel or play music on the newest wireless speakers, think about trying your hand at product testing. You just need to sign up with a product testing company, right? So brands will give you products in advance at no cost if you agree to wear or use them and provide feedback. Product testing is a wonderful way to live a luxury life without a big budget because you won't have to dish out any cash for a purchase in addition you can usually keep the products you are sent to test and it's an easy way to try different brands without the risk of losing money on items you don't ultimately love now to do this you can join product testing panels and agree to give reviews now the thing they're very strict and they're very thorough so if you're in once they accept you in make sure that you provide feedback in a timely manner and accurate and clear feedbacks so if you go online and just type for product testing panels you can see a whole list of um, of panels some are dodgy but some are legit you and then you can also send a message to companies to get free coupons and samples for instance you know here are some of the let me give you some of the top luxury companies in the world you have lvmh in france you have estee lauder in the, in the states you have uh, something called um, a company called Compagnie Financière Richemont. They are in Switzerland. Caring is in France. Luxottica Group is in Italy. Chanel Limited in the UK. L'Oreal Lux in France. And the Swatch Group in Switzerland. You also have some of the, f here are some of the fastest growing luxury companies. According to, the, to Deloitte, you have Canada Goose in Canada. Cody Luxury in the US, Furla Spa in Italy, Titan Company Limited in India, Shiseido Prestige and Fragrance in, um, in Japan, Richard Mealy in Switzerland, Chao Tai Seng Jewelry in China, Gehring, as I said that before, in France, Pandora in Denmark, and Montclair in Italy. I, I, I apologize if my pronunciation is not clear enough or is inaccurate. I'm not used to the rich life, so I really don't know. Uh, some of those brains <laughs> but um, the idea here for you is that you can contact the companies directly and you know ask them to put you on the product testing panel or you can go to those platforms that aggregate product testing for several luxury brands and they're available online if you google them you'll have a whole list and just join one number two become a mystery shopper now what is a mystery shopper now this is a gig that is getting harder and harder to get but a mystery shopper is paid to clandestinely evaluate restaurants hotels and entertainment venues so if you become a mystery shopper basically the brand is sending you to you know to do things in a discreet way you're evaluating restaurants you're giving a rating to hotels and entertainment venues such as movie theaters and amusement parks right so if you don't like product testing you can still try out high-end merchandise at no cost so you can basically do the um, how do I call it you can contact the again you also have mystery shopping companies online and instead of basically uh, going to the event itself to the place itself to the venue itself you can do a remote review you can do an electronic review. You can call them up. You can do customer service assessment that allows you to see if they, they're following procedure. The bottom line here, remember, is you're trying to live opulently. You're trying to live richly without spending a fortune. But so you got you have to do some work right now here. Let me give you uh, other details about what a mystery shopper does. 
you can visit you would be required to visit retailers and other similar establishment in order to evaluate the overall shopping experience while remaining discreet and pretending to be a regular customer you will travel to different store locations when required again here we're talking about luxury stores right premium stores you will find you will need to be you will be required to find a specific products as instructed or purchasing a random product you will take note during the visit that will be later used for writing a report you will use your your own money to make any purchases to be reimbursed once all the required duties are completed you will be cautious when making purchases so that so as not to go over the budget established by the employer you will keep receipts and you will follow specific shopping instructions of the employer Another thing you can do to live opulently while keeping your bank account happy is to share the tab or choose prefix at Michelin starred restaurants. Now, Michelin starred restaurants are premium restaurants. You know, sometimes they have two stars or three stars and prices are pretty, you know, pretty high in those restaurants. You, you, can, you can go all the way to three digits, even four digits, especially when it comes to the wine and other beverages right so you can share the tab you can go with um with friends and uh, we can go in a group or colleagues and share the tab so you can you can enjoy you can have a wonderful a wonderful dining experience where everybody at the end just um you know pays 25 bucks or 30 bucks as opposed to uh you know getting the 200 bucks or the 300 you know picking up the 200 or 300 tab by yourself you can also choose prefix. Now, prefix means determine it's a fixed price menu. So you can have a three or four course meal that's often less expensive than ordering a la carte, right? That allows you, usually uh, chefs will have a prefix based on the menu of the day, right? So that allows them to also control cost. So if you do this, you should be able to live comfortably and like a rich without spending uh, too much money if you're trying to live luxury uh, luxuriously without spending a fortune this option the prefix ensures your meal is not only delectable but more affordable too right so uh, figuring out how to live a luxurious life on a budget could also mean opting to hit the new spot at lunch or happy hour when prices may be lower instead of dinner you might also want to go with a friend and share one entree instead of ordering two so the happy hour one is, is something that our team has been uh, doing for the last uh, few years and we, we it's just fantastic right happy hours between 5 and 7 p.m you get uh, discount on beer and other beverages and uh yeah i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are still continuing a conversation around how to live like the rich without spending a fortune. I just love the title. The title is just fantastic. How to live opulently without spending a fortune. <laughs> Please consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't done already so and um, turn on the notification bell so you can be informed whenever we drop a new gem. Share this content if you know other people who love to live like the rich without spending that much money share the content like and comment number four look to social media for food events now facebook and um, youtube and sometimes instagram are great places to look for food events and especially those of michelin starred restaurants you know they will if you're following a few of them and i would advise you to follow all michelin star restaurants all premium restaurants in your area follow them follow you know like their pages get their info in, in your news feed so whatever is going on you basically can just uh, go there right so you can use social media to save money by searching for events in your industry in your local area that allow you to dine on someone else's dime right the, the whole idea this is the whole thing here the, the idea here is to dine on someone else's dime right so figuring out figuring how figuring out how to live a luxurious lifestyle on a budget especially as it pertains to dining out and entertainment it takes a little bit of preparation and this is what i'm trying to explain to you here number five do only rentals so if you want to wear a designer gown or a suit to your next big bash but you know the price tag means it's probably just a forever fantasy just rent it right 
you don't have to own something extravagant to enjoy lux indulgences you can just rent it you can uh, consider renting designer clothing from online fashion rental services for a fraction of the retail cost now the good thing here is that retail periods last for varying lengths of time and this could be from a few days to several weeks right this is the perfect solution if you want a new outfit for the next special event you're attending but you know you're likely to only wear it once why buy it and, and just keep it in the closet and uh, just ruin your bank account just rent it number six do strategic bidding on online marketplaces now another strategy that works a lot is uh, those online marketplaces consignment shops and outlets that sometimes you know show pretty good um, pretty pretty good clothes and other uh, artifacts that are usually worn by the by the rich and wealthy so another way to live a luxury life without a big budget is to look for affordable lux on online marketplaces such as facebook marketplace you 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 sometimes you have uh, the niche platforms such as poshmark or macari and on those platforms people buy sell and even bid on items right so the the thing here is that most luxury buyers consign the like new items rather than donate to reinvest money back into their wardrobes so many times you'll be able to purchase the item new unworn and with the original packaging and price tag so if you don't care whether or not your luxury items are from last season then you can live a luxury life without a big budget by visiting outlet stores right remember that mo most design houses have outlet stores where they ship their overstock items or pieces from past seasons and the great thing here is that consumers can save up to 70 percent think about it 70 percent off retail price by shopping at outlets okay so this is a, a great a great thing to think about you remember that most luxury buyers consign and like new items rather than donate it so again you don't have to um you don't have to buy it you can just um you know bid and get something brand new at a very low price i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We're still having a conversation today around um, how to live opulently without spending a fortune. Number seven, keep travel costs low. Now, travel can be one of the most luxurious ways to spend your money, right? It's it's also often one of the priciest, right? So I'm talking about anything from accommodations to dining out to airfare. Th this, this cost can quickly add up. So if you want to live luxuriously without spending a fortune please go with family and friends that way you can plan a luxury vacation on a budget when you split the bill for everything for activities for excursions for outings for accommodations right so if you travel like this this can be rewarding also because you can share unique even once in a lifetime experiences with people you love the most right that's just a win-win for everybody now if you're traveling if you love to travel solo you can still find ways to live a luxury life without a big budget right you can basically ramp up your uh, credit card miles and rewards you can also choose to fly off season you can book hotels or rentals in advance i'm talking six months in advance or four months in advance you can ask for you can ask locals for their recommendations to avoid expensive tourist areas right it just takes a lot of uh, preparation but it is definitely possible number eight seek low priced premium entertainment tickets now remember that um you can get coupons and rewards on some platforms i'm not naming names here but you if you google if you go online and, and type coupons on your favorite celebrities concerts or your favorite um, sports teams next game you can basically find coupons on the internet now each platform has its own set of advantages and drawbacks right some are legit sources of non-sports tickets such as music shows and festivals theatrical performance and conventions 
And one thing you want to do is contact the organization directly. You don't want to go through an, a middle person like, you know, sports club or a concert manager. You can also actually uh, get a free or low priced premium entertainment ticket by volunteering. You can volunteer at the, at the box office. You can also volunteer on, on online platforms such as Ticketmaster, Craigslist, Craigslist, eBay, StubHub. You can volunteer or even get tickets on those platforms. The ninth, number nine, last but not the least, find deals on wellness programs. Now, you have to understand that a lot of folks love spa treatments. Who doesn't? You know, I love spa treatments too. I love trendy fitness, fitness classes, but gym fees can be very pricey especially if you live in a if you live in an area with the high standard of living yeah definitely so you if you want to enjoy a premium wellness program without spending a fortune find deals you have groupons you have other coupons on the internet you can also you know coupon sites often feature deals from local spas and they are usually introductory offers for a treatment or a street or series of treatments at a discount right and several cities or regions depending on if you're in the states several cities in the states can participate in a spac week or a month right and this includes special deals to get customers in the door so the idea here is to constantly find deals on wellness program all right so let's quickly recap today's conversation when it comes to living opulently without spending a fortune we're talking about what we're talking about entertainment wellness food right dining and uh, so clothes traveling right so here are nine things i gave you nine tips today become a product tester become a mystery shopper Share the tab or choose prefix at Michelin starred restaurants. Look to social media for food events. Do only rentals. Do strateg strategic bidding on online marketplaces. Keep travel costs low. Seek low priced premium entertainment tickets. Find deals on wellness programs. That was it, folks. Really appreciate your attention. I will see you next time, but until then, remember, stay marvelous.